But Big is writing all Junior Mafia, Lil' Kim, everything, but he telling Puff, they writing their own because he's in the publishing deal with Diddy, right? Okay. This is what I think ultimately why okay. Big got killed because he was robbing Puff. So does that clear Diddy's involvement with it? No, allegedly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Could you kind of put that on? It seemed like you angle it like Reggie as the orchestrator, but what is Diddy, where does Diddy fit in that equation then? Because people are trying to assume that he um, is connected to Tupac's assassination. All right. Uh, first of all, let me say my points and views are speculation, right? This is just all through research. And my points and views is not the points and views of comedy hype, all right? The, first and foremost, let me say that, right? So um, Reggie, I believe, is involved because let's take it back to Diddy, right? Mm -hmm. More recently, uh, there's a rapper, or a former rapper, I don't even know if he's a rapper anymore, but a guy named Little Sean did a and did an interview recently, and that brought up more of Diddy's involvement to me, right? Okay. Uh, the Quad Studios session, right? Where mm -hmm. Tupac got shot, right? I believe that that's where this, the ultimate ending in Vegas, I think that this is the origin. Connected. Yes. Okay. Right? Why I say that is this, right? I watched this interview with Lil Sean more recently, and when he talked about it, the quad shooting, this time he left blanks. He didn't want to mention Diddy name, and he didn't want to mention Jimmy Henchman name, okay. right? Which was odd to me because when he left those blanks, I went and did research and I went through all his interviews. I found his original interview with Combat Jack where he names everybody, right? Mm. When, and the more recent one, he's just talking about, oh, you know, I got too much respect for these dudes. I don't want to mention their names. You know, they my big brothers. Da, 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 da. I'm like, damn, who are you talking about? So I go research, boom, find the Combat Jack joint. He giving all up, right? The blanks that was missing was Diddy and Jimmy Henchman, right? So now here's what happens. If you go look at the Vibe interview uh, with Diddy, or MTV interview, sorry, with uh, Biggie and Puff sitting on the couch, you know that one, right? Okay, yeah. Um, they are questioned about the shooting at Quad Studios. Diddy never mentions Jimmy Henchman, right? So what happens is this. Pac isn't doing bad at the time, right? He's famous, but financially he's hurting, right? Mm -hmm. They all know this. So uh, Jimmy Henchman was trying to manage Pac. Mm -hmm. Pac wasn't like, nah, nigga, I, nah, I'm not letting you manage me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that began the little friction, allegedly, mm -hmm. right? He wouldn't let him manage him. Pac is in New York shooting above the rim, mm -hmm. right? Um, he's now hanging out with Haitian Jack. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, for whatever reason, they got close to him and Pac is, you know, finally financially messed up. Jack is taking them shopping, buying them Rolex. You know, they getting in with him. They see his potential, you know. And so, you know how they do. It's like the the hustlers that take care of the kid that know how to play basketball. In the hood. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you go to the NBA. I'm good. Right. So Jack is you looking out for um Pop. Big knows Haitian Jack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, uh, on all of them, they know Haitian Jack and they know his reputation. Big go and tell Pop, yo, you don't be hanging with these niggas. These niggas ain't right. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pop go back and tell Haitian Jack what uh, Big said, and Big gets robbed. Fast forward. <clears throat> Jimmy Henchman is, ha has an argument for whatever reason with Pac on the phone, right? Now, Lance on Rivera tells this story and 
he um they on the phone they say Pac arguing with a dude because Jimmy wanted Pac to do a verse for Little Sean. Pac said, yo, I'll do it for seven bands, mm -hmm. right? So he go to Ron G house, he do Ron G mixtape for free, but he charging these dudes, right? So Jimmy Henchman calls Pac, uh, or one of his boys called Pac, whoever, to set up the session, right? Now, this falls on the tail of the rape case, okay. right? Lou, Sean, Jack, and Pac hang out, right? Okay. Now, Lou, Sean said when he met Pac, they never even had no conversation. They rode in the car together. They went to, um, to a spot, uh, Nell's or whatever. Mm -hmm. They hung out, whatever, whatever, right? Um, that's where Pac had got head from the girl on the dance floor. That's where he met the girl, Ayanna Jackson, mm -hmm. or whatever, right? Um, but Lil Sean is saying that him and Pac never had no friction, I mean, no interaction yet. They never had no interaction for, for them to be doing no song, and they don't even make the same type of music for him to be doing the song okay. with him, right? So Lil Sean, uh, so Jimmy and, and, and Pac have this phone call where they threatening each other. Yo, nigga, I'll kill you. I'll kill you according to un, right? So when Pac get off the phone, they ask Pac, yo, who you was talking to like that? And he's like, some nigga named Jimmy Henchman. And they like, Jimmy Henchman? Nigga, you crazy? Like, yo, Jimmy Henchman, like, yo, that dude to kill you. You, you like, like, yo, we got to get guns, like. Right, so this is all according to un, right? Mm -hmm. So now Pac and them go to the studio. Um, like, well, he said, Pac, like, yo, so what, we supposed to, we need guns or whatever, whatever? Like, yeah, nigga, we need guns, whatever. So Jimmy called and like, yo, I got your money, whatever, whatever, show up to the studio, mm -hmm. allegedly, right? Mm -hmm. So um, when Pac is coming to the studio, right? Now here's where Puff comes in at, right? Pac is coming to the studio. While Pac is coming to the studio, Puff finds out that Biggie and them is having a session, a junior mafia session. Okay. Now, allegedly, Puff don't know about this session. And remember, Biggie is screwing Puff over by because he got a publishing deal with with Diddy, right? Okay. But Big is writing all junior mafia, Lil Kim, shit, everything. But he telling Puff they writing their own because he's in the publishing deal with Diddy, right? Okay. This is what I think ultimately why okay. Big got killed, because he was robbing Puff, right? Mm. We'll get to that, right? So Pac, when Pac is coming to the studio to do the verse for Ludo Sean, when he see Ludo C's on the balcony, he like, yo, Pac, what up, what up? He's assuming that Big and them is upstairs in the session that he's going to to do the verse. Right. Right? This is why he blamed Big and them in the beginning. Right? So when he comes around the corner, you know, the dudes who we know who they are now, they they in front of the quad, you know, you know, uh hats low, whatever, whatever, pocking them go in, right? When they go in, the whole robbery happened. I ain't got to recap that whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. But after the, the shooting and everything, Pac and them get on the elevator. When they go upstairs, they don't go to big session, right? Now, what people don't know is Puff didn't know about big session. Somebody called him and told him that they was up there, right? Now, Jimmy Hitchman's upstairs waiting for Pac to come up. Them niggas was just beefing. Nigga, I can't get that, 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 right? Puff is upstairs with Jimmy Hitchman. Hmm. Right? Getting ready to bust in on yeah. Biggie and them. Right. Little secret ass session. But Puff ain't going in there by itself. He going with Jimmy. But before that can happen, the altercation with Pac happens downstairs. Right. So when Pac get on the elevator, come upstairs, and the elevator open, 
Puff is in there with Jimmy. Not only is Puff in there with Jimmy, Andre Harrell's in there because Pac, um, Andre Harrell been taking Pac out, you know, to lunch and stuff and dinner and stuff, trying to get ready, give him a job on New York under Pac, undercover because they telling Andre that Pac is hurting for money. So he like, yo, I'm gonna give you a re recurring role. So he's there to meet Pac to talk to him about the New York undercover. While Puff is there, I don't know, right? While Jimmy is there, we already know. They was just beefing, right? So Pac come in, he shot, right? When he go to sit down and shit, he, ah, he can stand back up because he shot himself in the nuts, right? So he like looking around, what's going on, what's going on? Right, so they call the police. He tells the man, roll him out, this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. When the ambulance come, he getting off the elevator. Now, in Combat Jack's interview with Ludo Sean, he says, Pac and Jimmy both standing right there at the elevator. Like, Pac is on, he's on the other side. And Pac is like, yo, what's up, nigga? What's up, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? And, and Jimmy like, yo, come here, nigga. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Elevator closed, douche. That's the last time they seen each other, right? Mm -hmm. This is why Pac starts going at bad boy. Mm -hmm. Puff, you was there with this nigga Jimmy Henchman. I was just beefing with this nigga. I just got shot up. Right. You here with this nigga. Big, you supposed to be my man. He thinking Big and them was all together. No, Puff was getting ready to run down on Big ass. He got the muscle with him. Mm. You get what I'm saying? He couldn't run up in, in, in uh, Big Session with Un in there. You know what I'm saying? And Un and them was already had problems with Haitian Jack, right? Allegedly, right? Mm -hmm. If you, you listen to his interview, tell me bang, they banged out before, right? So, and remember, they robbed Biggie for telling Pac, don't fucking, um, don't hang with them niggas. So, being at the whole shooting, or if you go back and you watch the, the video of them coming out of quad, Pac comes out with Jimmy Hitchman. Mm -hmm. I mean, not Pac, excuse me. Puff come out with Jimmy Hitchman. Big and them come out like five minutes later. They wasn't even in there together. They wasn't in the same studio. Got you. But if you look at it on TV, it make it look like Puff walked out and then they clip in it. Big come walking out behind Puff. Big ain't even know Puff was upstairs. Mm. So move, moving forward, right? The beef is lit. Now, Jimmy Hinchman and Shug already had beef before Pac and Jimmy Hinchman had beef. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, remember, Pac ain't even on death row yet. Right. And he got, and Shug already got beef with Jimmy Hinchman before from some Miami shit, right? That happened with Luke back in the day, right? Now, Pac got beef with Jimmy Hinchman, then the whole shit go, the trial go, he shot up, the next day he go to court, and shit found guilty. Right. He go to jail. Mm. Left with seeing Jimmy and Puff. And then Big, potentially too. Right. Now, Big still in the dark a little bit at some point, right? Cause he gotta figure out what the fuck Puff was doing upstairs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, he went and got his old deal, right? Now, here's the other thing, right? Keep that in mind, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we got Pa go to jail. Pa come on. He go to death row. Jimmy tell the nigga, yo, nigga, you don't, he tell Stretch to tell Pa, nigga, you don't want to go with me, go to war with me. You got to get your money right. That's why you hear Pac say on Against All Odds, you told me to, uh, don't go to war until I get my money right. I got my money right, mm -hmm. right? So now Pac is over there with Shug, and they both already, now they both got a problem with who? Jimmy and Puff, or Diddy, right? Mm -hmm. Now they see each other, Soul Train Award, all this shit going on, right? Now, on top of that, let's fast forward a little bit. Now Snoop 
goes and say he ain't got beef with Puff and Biggie, right? Remember, Pac sees Puff in the fucking studio where he shot in his head, shot the fuck up. He remember Puff being there with Jimmy, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Snoop, you saying you ain't got beef with these niggas? Mm -hmm. Those is your boys? Fuck you too, right? So how does Pac and how does Snoop move forward with Death Row with, under these conditions? Right? Mm -hmm. Boom. Now, Diddy starts hanging with the Southside Crips. Okay. Right? The Southside Crips allegedly get offered by Diddy, right? A million dollars to kill Suge and Tupac, right? Due to the the beef, the 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 East, the fake East Coast West Coast beef, okay. which is really a beef between two labels. No, between two niggas, Suge and and Puff, Pac and Puff, Suge and Jimmy, Pac and Jimmy. Gotcha. Right. So, Southside get offered this alleged, offer, allegedly get offered this million dollars from Puff, right? Right. To kill Suge and Tupac, right? According to Keefe D, right? Now, this is where Reggie comes in, right? Okay. And that was your way to kind of tie in Diddy. I just want to make sure that we're right. clear on that. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, this is where Reggie ties in with Diddy, Keefe D, and all of them. I believe, personally, that Keefe D, knowing that now, in New York, after Pop and Snoop and the Angie Martinez in, uh, situation happened, and they fly back to California, that's the last time Pac and Snoop saw each other, right? According to Snoop, he says, yo, cuz, you going to the uh, fight, cuz? And Pac, yo, man, get out of here. And they ain't speak no more. But now the beef is lit with them, right? We already know it was real tension between the outlaws and, and Pac and Snoop and the dog down. Mm -hmm. like, they know internally what real shit was going on between them. The world might not know it, but it it was real, it, it was lit. So like I said, it was no moving forward at that point. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what I believe is, as you can see, Keefe D still have a relationship with Reggie Wright. Reggie Wright still has a relationship with Keefe D and his son, and they are crip affiliated. Uh, Reggie's affiliated with the Great Street Crips, right? Mm -hmm. Then we got Marv James. For all y'all in the comments that goddamn said, oh, Marv James wasn't a Crip. I know that his name is Marv. Uh, Marv is the Pyrus. Duh, I know that. I said Marv James is Crip affiliated, being that his baby mama is a Crip, his daughter is a Crip, and they live in Southside Crip neighborhood, and he isn't being able to be and grow up. He originally grew up in that area. And let him tell it, he did grow up in that area, and he got a baby mama as a Crip, and his daughter is a Crip, and so he's Crip affiliated, to make it clear for y'all, okay? Now, Marv James allegedly lived in Vegas with Keefe D for seven years before he went back to Compton. Marv, you heard Keefe D say, Marv James uh, hangs with, I'm gonna say hang with, <laughs> hangs with Keefe D's son, who's a Crip, right? So Marv James is Crip affiliated. Not only is he Crip affiliated, he hangs with Keefe D. Him and Keefe D is boys. Him and Reggie is boys. Reggie's Crip affiliated. Uh, Reggie is cool with Keefe D. We seen Reggie call Keefe D phone on YouTube on Tupac anniversary, 
last year of his death. He got his phone number. Reggie also hooked uh, Keefe D up to do these interviews on the internet. So they have a relationship, right? Snoop is Crip affiliate, is, is a Crip, right? Snoop knew, uh, did the, the hard white compilation with the Crips who was in the car who was supposed to kill Tupac. The hard white compilation, Big Dre's uh, record label, who Reggie said had a meeting with, he had a meeting with Big Dre himself. The same guy that was in the fucking white Cadillac, the Crip, had a meeting with Reggie to give him distribution for that same compilation album that Snoop did with the Crips that was in the car that killed Tupac, allegedly, right? Boom. So what I believe is this. They, once the beef was over, uh, I mean, once the, 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 the fuse was lit mm -hmm. with Pa and Snoop, Sharita Knight, which is Suge Knight's ex-wife, managed Snoop, right? That's the Crip side of death row. Mm -hmm. The other side, I'm going to draw it on the board for y'all in a minute, right? The other side is the blood side. Suge's side, Ma, Pa rules, Pop, all those is the blood side, right? You got death row, right? You got nightlife, which is the management that's ran by Sharita. You got Death Row Records, which is the blood side that's run by Shook, right? You got Sharita who manages Snoop, the Crip, right? The Dog Pound, the Crips. She has the relationship with Reggie, who's the uh, Crip affiliated. And she is also dating Kevin Gaines, who is one of the cops that had the relationship with Mac and Perez and, um, uh, of the Rampart cops, the LAPD, who Re Reggie, right way security, hires the, uh, the off-duty cops. Reggie, Kevin Gaines worked security for Snoop, right? Uh, that's the blue side of it, right? The red side of it is... Uh, Suge being affiliated with the Mob Power Rules, right? Now you got Mob James, who is sitting there constantly talking about how they wanted to rob Suge. Yo, man, let's get Suge. So even though he's on the red side, Mob James, he's Crip affiliated, right? Mm -hmm. So he goes over there with them, with Reggie, with Keefe D and them, and everybody else, because that's who he get money with in the streets, allegedly, right? And that's who he uh, he's aligned with, Reggie and all of them today, right? It's fuck Suge, fuck Suge, fuck Suge with Marv James. My brother got killed, this, this, that, and other. Buntry, Neckbone, Henrod, uh, Suge, Pac, all over here, right? Some way or another, most of Suge crew gets killed, Suge goes to jail, right? Now, before Suge goes to jail for the Terry thing, he, we, they, they send him to jail for the violation, for the, uh, when Pac got killed, he got violated and went to jail, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what I believe is when Keefe D was offered the million dollars on the hit for uh, Suge and, and Pac, you got Gene Dale that always said that D Mac, the Crip, another on the Crip side, kept telling uh, Diddy, "Yo, my Grape Street and my South Side Crips will handle Suge and Pac for y'all." Right? Reggie's Grape Street, Keefe D is South Side. Right? Um, I believe that. Keefe D went to Reggie, and being that Reggie just got fired by Tupac 10 days before, mm -hmm. 
David Kenner got fired by Tupac 10 days before. Shook fired the, the accounting company because he found out they stole like 20, 30 million, right? So, and then Snoop, how the fuck is he moving forward with death row with this beef with Tupac? Mm -hmm. Were he going in the studio? No. Right. He going on tour with this nigga? No. Mm -hmm. They ain't doing no shows together? No. So something got to happen, right? So there's a million dollars that we could get and this beef anyway. It's, it's the mob against the, the, the Crips, right? Ultimately, right? Mm -hmm. We can get a million dollars from this Diddy nigga and kill two birds with one stone, right? Now, we know the, uh, now, with Reggie's response to me, what I said, he was the first, uh, he was the first suspect. The number one suspect. He was the number one suspect in the, uh, in the Biggie case, right? And Gray Caden went to him and he told him Southside killed Biggie in retaliation for not getting their money for Tupac. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck? I thought Tupac got killed because uh, he jumped on a gangbanger. So how would Reggie know that there was some money offered for Tupac, right? Huh? That goes to show that he knows that there was a hit on Tupac, right? I believe Keefe D went to them and they all, Bob James was already saying, yo, let's get this nigga. Reggie knew that if Suge got killed, that uh, he would run the label, right? Mm -hmm. Sharita would inherit the label. Him and Sharita was cool, right? And then also not only do Snoop got beef with Pac, yeah. Kevin Gaines, Sharita's boyfriend got beef with Suge. Why? Shook took Kevin Gaines' ass out to the desert, caught him and Sharita in Las Vegas mm -hmm. together, took him out to the desert and sh beat his ass and stripped him and left him out there. Mm -hmm. And then went and kicked in Sharita's door looking for him, right? So now you got Sharita that will inherit the label mm -hmm. if Shook dies, mm -hmm. right? You got Kevin Gaines who got his ass whipped, <laughs> right? Let's see, we talking motive now. Mm -hmm. Sharita, her motive would she, she, she would get rich. Kevin Gaines' motive is, this nigga whipped my ass and stripped me naked in the fucking desert and left me there, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Reggie will inherit the, the, the working, running the label, right? Snoop will be back in the number one spot and he ain't gotta worry about fucking Pac and the outlaws in these niggas, mm -hmm. right? Same thing with the dog pal, mm -hmm. right? Everybody's in position at death row, right? Soon as Suge went to jail, what happened? Daz became the president or something like that. Reggie was running the label, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what you call it? Kevin, Kevin Gaines eventually got killed, right? But um, Suge and them was out, out the way, Pac was dead, right? Right, Snoop was doing his thing. Right, so now, Here's where you you see that Reggie has guilt, right? All right. Now that you uh, now that you heard Suge say you and Perez are good friends, <laughs> goddamn liar, and that Perez was trying to kill him, you gonna turn around and say, man? So, so what? Say what? So what? Say what? What if they was around death row? What if they was around death row? That don't mean they kill us. I thought you didn't know them, nigga. Now you saying, so what if they was around death row? That don't make them kill us? How the fuck would you know if they kill us or not? You don't know them. Keep talking, you stupid ass motherfucker. Hey, pork butt. You know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> so you bought the bottle of beer at 12 o'clock. So you met Greg Caden at 12.05.
You know you done fucked up, right? Keep running your mouth, Reggie. You see training day, right? Nigga, you gonna be running down the motherfucking street like Snoop, nigga. <laughs> nigga, stick that pin down your throat. <laughs> I ain't do nothing. Why y'all ain't messing with me? <laughs> <laughs> now you sat there and you sit there and you try to say you don't know Kevin Gaines you don't know Kevin Gaines you don't know Sharitha's boyfriend No, I don't. Tell you every time I'm in Chicago, I'm going to say that. You're on the But anyway, nicely, big one. I'm going to tell you, Kevin Gaines. 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 I'm going thing, Reggie. Vegas? It would have been that whole other thing? What's the other thing? Why y'all can't talk? Why she can't say what it is? Would that be allegedly the hit on Tupac? Or maybe Biggie? I thought you ain't know Kevin Gaines. But you call her and ask her, Kevin Gaines? You ever paid them with a check from death row? They saying they got a check for $10,000. Oh, Reggie, I'm scandalous, but I ain't that scandalous, Reggie. You think I'll bring him around? Why would I write him a check if I ain't even bring him around? Reggie, you should get off the internet, bro. You better get off the internet, nigga. You can't go to jail. You ain't no Perez, and Suge no Perez? I thought you said Suge didn't know Perez. He said you and Perez are good friends. I didn't say it. And why you keep bringing Suge name up in it? Why you keep saying Reggie and Suge, Reggie, Suge was in jail, Reggie. Suge was in jail. You already tried with your bullshit Poochie story and tried to set him up with that. It didn't work. Remember, the letter was fake, right? You laughed at it, right? So if you laughed at the Poochie story, then we know Sugar ain't had nothing to do with it. What did you do, brother? What did you do? And why you get, get so hostile? And angry and yelling and, and stuff. Huh? Why you get so hostile if you're not guilty? That's not the sign of a guilt, uh, of an innocent man, what you're doing, brother. And you talking about these cops never brought up your name. Why would they bring up your name, Reggie? If they allegedly killed somebody for you, why would they bring up your name, motherfucker? You the nigga, the weakest link. 
You on the internet tell niggas business every motherfucking week, nigga. Niggas street names, niggas sets. You a fucking rat. Fuck you talking about. And you keep talking about uh, snitch joke. You ain't got no paperwork yet? Where the paperwork? And Reggie. Well, let me take his name out of it. A poor butt. What you call him? Pork butt. Pork butt? Pig. You know, dirty pig, cops are pigs. Yeah, I get it. I didn't right. know. Yeah. Hey, pork butt. Why are you saying even Biggie mother believes the story and she said, oh, I believe 97, 98% of murder rap and Greg Caden's investigation? Brother, that lady is not street smart. No disrespect to a biggie mother, but she's not street smart. She didn't even know her son was out there selling drugs, brother. Y'all could tell that lady anything. And Gray Caden's story, murder rap, is your fucking snitching testimony, nigga. What are you talking about? Murder rap is Gray Caden coming to you and you telling him Southside killed Biggie in retaliation for not getting their money for killing Tupac. That's the whole fucking film, nigga. They made a movie off of your fucking ratting ass confession. Lying ass confession. And Gray Caden, stupid ass, you interviewed Kaza Soze, nigga. That nigga spun you. I'm not even addressing you no more. This is it. This is it. This is all for the sake of getting justice for Christopher Wallace, AKA Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac Shakur. All right? Lisan Crooks, all right? That's what this is for. This ain't here to, we ain't here to entertain you. Any of y'all non-believers and all y'all that believe Orlando Anderson the dude that got his shoulder kicked out the socket and went to the hospital was in that car. Y'all fools. If y'all believe Suge paid this nigga 60 grand to testify for him in, the, in that trial just to get out of not going to jail and he shot him in the head and killed Tupac, y'all niggas is stupid. Joke, no joke. We gonna take y'all over to the board. I'm gonna break this down to y'all and show y'all the split between death row records, between the bread side and the blood side. And that's why I, I believe ultimately, at the end of the day, this wasn't about no bad boy, death row, East Coast, West Coast. This was about a few individuals. And what I want to believe tying it back down to you say how this all lead back to Diddy. Right. How this all leads back to Diddy is I believe that Diddy allegedly put the hit out, okay. like they said, but I believe that allegedly Jimmy Henchman and Diddy did that together. Only reason I say Jimmy Henchman and Diddy did that together is because Gene Dale said that that check came for a million dollars, went to Zip. Zip was supposed to pay that to the Crips, and the check came from Black Ground Records, and Jimmy Hinchman was working at Black Ground Records with uh, Barry Hankerson. So if the check did come through Black Ground, the only connection with Black Ground and uh, the only connection between Black Ground in that check and zip is Jimmy Henchman worked at Black Ground Records and Jimmy Henchman had a beef with Tupac. And Jimmy Henchman was cool with, with Diddy. Mm -hmm. And Diddy had beef with Big for stealing that publishing. And if you remember, Gene Deal tells a story the night before Big got killed that he Gene squealed to Puff that Big was writing all Little Kim stuff. And Diddy jumped in, in Biggie's face and said, say it, nigga, say it. 
Say you right, Kim shit. Say it, nigga. Say it. And Big was like, go ahead, Diddy, man. Go ahead, Diddy. Say it, nigga. Say it. And the next day, Big was dead. Mm. So if Southside allegedly killed Pac for that hit, it all makes sense to me that Reggie, who allegedly orchestrated it, who calls himself the orchestrator, he right. said he said this. I'm the or I I don't get my hands dirty. I'm the orchestrator. You said that right or wrong? Okay, uh, that's what I ultimately be a belief in my theory that if that check did come from. Black Ground Records, then now I believe that with the beef that Suge and Pac had with Jimmy and Puff, that would be why Pac got killed. 